Hey there my fellow lunatics, Dakin the Mad here and I've got another tutorial video for you. Today we are working on auto sorters. We've got two different kinds of auto sorters that we're going to look at today and you can see both of them here on the screen right now. The first one we've got is a little bit bigger and can be modified to be a little bit longer. I'll show you um, a modified version that I use in my mob farm of this. but. Uh, this is one way to design an auto sorting system. The other main way to design an auto sorting system, which is much more compact, is this way right here. Now we're going to go into the details of how it all works here in a second. I just want to give the examples. So if we just take a couple items here and we just put them into the auto sorter, it gets moved through these robot arms here and then the drills pull it down until eventually each item ends up in a chest but it's capable of being inside. So how does it work? How does the, how do the arms know to skip certain chests? Well, that's actually relatively straightforward. Each chest is essentially full of at least one of whatever item you want in that chest. So the only items that will actually go into this first chest here are dirt walls. So if I went and I put this dirt wall stack in here, this robot arm will grab it, put it right in the first chest, and it's not going to go anywhere. They're all right here. But if like I did earlier, we put something like, let's say, these runes here, well, it won't go into that chest because that's got dirt in it. it. Won't go into this chest because this chest also has dirt in it. But this chest here, this one's empty. So I'm able to get the item into that one. The same concept works on this farm as well. Just put a couple items in here. And it's less compact. Instead of um, using drills and chests on each side, it uses conveyor belts to move it all down on one edge and then move it around and bring them all up coming along the other side. In this one over here on the left, everything's only moving in one direction. While on this one, everything moves in two directions. Let's talk about the electrical systems on here. It's got a very straightforward electrical system that keeps it running using an electrical generator and just a couple of basic parts here to keep things going show you what each one looks like. So what we've got here is a logic circuit, a delay circuit, some electrical wires, and an electrical generator. So what we're trying to do here is we're creating kind of a feedback loop that causes the energy and the electricity to turn on for one second and then off for one second, then back on and off, on and off. That's what we're doing with this loop here. And by doing that, what's happening is the drills are turning on and off, on and off. If I kept these drills on, if there wasn't a one second delay, they're turned on completely, the drills will destroy the chests, and then the robot arms will just grab and move everything along the line. But now you've got a mess. So that one second delay is crucial to preventing all of your chests from being destroyed and and this allows the farm to even exist. So here you can see several examples of what the electrical setups can look like, just kind of set up in different directions at different angles. So this gives you a visual reference that can help you when you're building your own electrical system, depending on where you want to place it. I like to place my electrical systems either at the bottom or at the top of the farm. I'm gonna show you some examples of what that looks like. This is my current auto sorter in my base. You can see over here on the right, we have the chest where everything is placed inside. And then the loot moves through where it then moves steadily down along this entire set of robot arms and chests until it reaches the bottom here. Then a robot arm will grab it move it over onto this conveyor belt where it moves over and comes up through this selection of chests before moving along 
and repeating the process going down and up, down and up. Now this is a very compact design and saves a lot of space and can create a very elegant, very neat looking storage system. The one main drawback to it is that your entrances are going to reverse themselves every other row. So as you can see, I can't, I can't get down to the bottom from this spot here. Uh, my entrances for my other two rows over on the right and left are at the bottom, but my entrance here is at the top. This is why I have this track here to help me get around the area so that I can move around it a lot easier. Here's some footage of my old storage system, which as you can see uses the other kind of auto sorter. Now this one is not nearly as compact and it causes the entire area to be much more spread out. However, the entrances are all on one side. So that does make it a little bit easier and convenient to get in and out of your loot, uh, even though it does take up a lot more room. Finally, here's an example of that same larger sorting system, but a little bit more spread out, where I have the first row here and then a much longer conveyor belt leading to the second row that moves up going the other direction. This is the storage system that I currently have set up for my mob farm, and this works pretty well as it doesn't need to be compact or tight. So how do you actually build one of these things? Well, construction is rather straightforward and I'm going to go ahead and just leave things up here so that if you want to pause the video and just mimic what you see, you can. But you're essentially creating a straight line of robot arms that are alternating one facing one direction, one facing the other. You want to place the drills over the robot arms uh, for the grabbing area and you want to place the chests on the next to the robot arms that have the reverse part or on the reverse side of those robot arms. The same is true over on this side where you want to put the grabbing part of the arms where the drills are. However, um, you want to leave open space on one side. And then um, also you'll want conveyor belts where you would put the chests for the uh, for the middle part. So there you have it. Two auto sorting designs, one more compact, the other one a little bit more spread out, but both of them excellent designs and great ways to automatically sort your loot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know more about how these auto sorting systems work, just leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to reply if I can. I do read all my comments. And I hope you liked everything. Until next time, stay crazy.